Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA, and joining me today is Danielle Romali of Bloom Energy. Hi, Buffy. It's great to be here. Thank you for having me. Yes, such a pleasure to have you, Danielle. This is your first time here. Uh, for JSA TV. Mm -hmm. So why don't you give viewers a little bit more information about your role at Bloom Energy and uh, what brings you here to Data Cloud USA today? Yeah, thank you, Buffy. Well, as, as Buffy said, my name is Danielle Romali. I've been with Bloom Energy for approximately eight months now. I spent my entire career in the clean energy space with a solid background in nuclear energy and transmission and distribution. Um, and Bloom really attracted me to the organization because of the solution offerings that we have and clean power and distributed energy, which I really see a trend in the, in the industry overall. And it's something I wanted to be a part of. So I'm excited to be here today, particularly in the digital infrastructure and data center space. Well, when you take a look at what's happening in the energy industry overall, and then more specifically with the data, um, data center industry, we're really seeing a trend and change in many areas which are impacting the way businesses need to procure their power. So when you look at what's happening across transmission and distribution and aging infrastructure, right. we really need to think differently about how power is procured today. And interconnection times along with um, aging out generation has created a challenge for business owners. When you couple that with the growth that we're seeing in the data yeah. center industry and energy server uh, demand or server changing demands right. from 15 kilowatt server rack needs to the introduction of AI and machine learning, they're taking those power demands up to 50 to 100 kilowatts of power demand, it's really changing the face of how everyone needs to consider their energy procurement um, in this data center space. Definitely, I mean, those high density, high you know workloads are definitely uh, creating more need for power, especially with the aging infrastructure all across, uh, especially here in the USA. Uh, so that is definitely a topic, and you'll be speaking more about that on a panel coming up later today called Breaking the Gridlock. Uh, what's one thing that you hope viewers and attendees of that panel can take away today? Yeah, so I'm excited to be a part of that panel today when we're going to be talking about new energy solutions. And specifically for Bloom, I'm going to talk briefly about our Series 10 solution, which is a new offering for our company. And what we've really done is listened across the industry to what our customers need, uh, what they're seeing in their demands and what they're seeing change. And we designed a, a 10 megawatt offering around a five year term that is really best in class for offering continuous on reliable resilient power and this offering and solution really provides our customer base with an opportunity to consider something for the short term that offers them fuel flexibility that offers them a, a, a solution that they didn't have in front of them previously and it really comes from the voice of the industry and what they have today and what they need for tomorrow. So that offering uh, really optimizes our platform, really maximizes everything we can in terms of streamlining the offering. And we're able to offer that shipped in as quickly as 50 days to our customer base and um, also able to offer that with um, CHP and microgrid options as, as people need to consider those types of of. of options as well for their energy needs. Yeah, one of the biggest things for Series 10 and, and uh, some of the challenges and pain points that data centers are having is the time to power. So this sounds like Series 10 really helps uh, meet those challenges. That's true. Yes, uh, it's really designed to optimize the time to power. As we look at what's happening with the need for transmission build, with aging infrastructure, and with generation that's aging out, sometimes generation that is still needed is aging out um, right. due to ESG goals, net zero goals. So people and customers, businesses really need to think differently about their power. And so we are providing solutions that get them online faster, able to um, drive their needs for their, their customers, their business more quickly than they would be able to with interconnection to the grid alone. Yeah, and we touched a little bit on microgrids, mm -hmm. uh, but for those that might not know, can you tell us a little bit more about the microgrid solution that Bloom offers and how it promotes energy self-sufficiency? 
Yes, absolutely. So Bloom offers a variety of microgrids, um, all the way from grid interconnected microgrids to fully independent microgrid solutions. And those solutions really provide customers with the most um, optimized power that they can have. So you're really getting superior reliability right. that you would not achieve with the grid alone. As we look at the resiliency and the challenges across the grid with extreme weather events, with items that are happening around, um, you know, just power outages and how that impact impacts everyone's economic viability, financial viability, and the challenges that creates for, for businesses. Resiliency in energy for the first time has really become a boardroom level issue. And microgrid solutions like those offered by Bloom uh, really provide customers, our customers and businesses with options to have that constantly always on power um, that they can, they can control and they can manage um, their, their power with their solution. So would you say microgrids are definitely playing a key role in shaping the future of data center energy? I, I would say yes, they definitely are. Um, the decentralizing of the grid is something we're going to see right. more and more uh, across the data center, center industry. As those power demands increase and the infrastructure is unable to keep up, we're going to see more data center um data centers turning to that microgrid solution to provide them with that reliable and resilient power that they need to have that continuous on operation. Always on. Always on. Yeah. Well, we're looking forward to your panel later today, Danielle. Thank you. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? Um, no, I'm excited to be here. Bloom's excited to be a critical part of this industry, providing data centers with the power that they need continuously, 24-7, 365. Um, our solutions are a perfect fit for, for this industry, and we're excited to be taking part of it and talking with many of, of the representatives here today and learning about their needs and challenges and providing solutions to solve them. Danielle, thanks again for joining us today. Absolutely. And viewers, thanks again for tuning in. Stay curious, stay connected, and happy networking.